I think the question is, do you want the nanny to be the primary attachment figure or do you want to be the primary attachment? I just feel like I am not responsible. Paris Hilton has been traveling a lot lately with her husband, Carter Reum, and their one-year-old son, Phoenix. But their newborn daughter, London, hasn't been spotted with the family at all. So why has Paris been excluding her daughter from family trips? The real reasons why she's been ignoring London are honestly unbelievable. So let's break them down. At the end of November, Paris surprised everyone when she announced on Instagram that she and Carter had welcomed a baby girl named London via surrogate. A few days later, she appeared on Today, where she revealed her true feelings about being a mom of two. Paris claimed that having a son and a daughter finally made her life feel complete. She also said that she would always be there for both of her kids. But just a few weeks later, she started sharing posts on social media that completely contradicted that statement. On Christmas Eve, Paris posted pictures and clips that she'd taken earlier that day of Phoenix's first trip to Disneyland. She and Carter had taken him to the theme park with her sister, Nikki. But even though Phoenix and Nikki's children appeared to have a good time, there was one detail that was impossible to ignore. London was nowhere to be seen in any of the photos or videos taken during the Disney trip. But she was also noticeably absent from Paris's Instagram post the next day, which was seriously strange. Paris, Carter, and Phoenix had apparently spent Christmas Day with the rest of the Hilton family at Nikki's house. Based on the photos Paris shared, it seemed like everyone was there, with the exception of London. Over the next two weeks, Paris continued to share pictures from her travels, including from New York City and Mexico. In every single post she made, London couldn't be spotted at all. But Phoenix was included on several of those occasions, which makes things even more confusing. It's possible that Paris and Carter didn't want to bring London to all of those events and trips because she was still incredibly young. But it's not like they didn't know she was going to be born, especially since they had scheduled the surrogacy process. Why didn't Paris and her husband try to plan their mini vacations before London arrived? And if that really wasn't an option, couldn't they have stayed home for Christmas and invited the rest of the Hilton family to celebrate with them? It's true that London probably wouldn't have been able to appreciate or enjoy much about Disneyland. However, Phoenix was only 11 months old, so it's not like he could really experience a lot of the amusement park either. Still, the difference between going places with a newborn compared to an older baby is usually pretty extreme. Almost all newborn babies have an unpredictable sleep schedule at first. They also don't really have a set routine when it comes to eating. And as most parents know, being out of the house with a tired, hungry newborn can be totally overwhelming. On the other hand, older babies and toddlers usually have set nap times throughout the day. It's also easier to pack snacks on the go compared to warming up bottles or finding a comfortable place to nurse a newborn. It's definitely possible that Paris and Carter felt like it was too much work to bring their new daughter on their trips to public places. But London being excluded from celebrating Christmas with the rest of her family at Nikki's house is still absolutely bizarre. Another possible reason why Paris has been ignoring her daughter is that she's still not comfortable taking care of her. What the second season of Paris in Love revealed about her parenting was honestly startling. One week after London's arrival was announced, season two of Paris's reality show was released. It's no secret that a lot of celebrities hire nannies to help take care of their kids. But in Paris's case, it looked like her nanny was Phoenix's primary caregiver. In one episode, Nikki was visibly stunned when Paris told her that she hadn't changed any of Phoenix's Phoenix's diapers yet. He was a month old at the time and Paris seemed completely clueless about what to do. Nikki and the nanny had to help her with the craziest, most minor things. Paris didn't even know which side of the diaper was the front or the back, but she also appeared to be so detached from her own son. The nanny even had to remind her to talk to her baby and smile at him. That scene made a lot more sense later in the season when Paris made a seriously insane confession. In another episode, Paris opened up to her therapist about not feeling responsible enough to take care of Phoenix. But when the therapist told her that her baby would bond more with his nanny if she didn't take control of her parenting duties, she looked shocked. Paris didn't exactly have a present nurturing mother growing up. The majority of her relationship with her mom, Kathy, has been incredibly strained. But after she told her therapist that she wanted to be a better mother for her kids than what she had, the conversation took an unexpected turn. When the therapist asked how much time Paris was able to spend with Phoenix each day, her response was unbelievable. Paris explained that she usually tried to visit him in his nursery for an hour in the morning before she had to get ready for the day and go to work. It's mind-boggling that Paris literally has a hundreds of millions of dollars, but she was still working so much. And it's not like she had no other option. She was choosing to book public appearances and DJ gigs instead of bonding with her baby. Paris recently spoke out about how she's working on getting better at saying no to some job opportunities. But it's interesting that for her and Carter's honeymoon, they were able to spend seven weeks straight just traveling around the world. So why is it so hard for her to even slightly cut back on her work schedule to be a more present mother? In one of the more recent episodes of Paris in Love, Paris and her therapist discussed her post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. The therapist mentioned that people with PTSD can have trouble connecting to others because of their trauma. She also brought up that many of those people tend to struggle with overcoming that avoidance, which seemed to resonate with Paris. Paris claimed that she wanted to work on healing from her trauma so that she could be the loving, involved mother that her kids deserve. 
Lately, it truly does seem like Paris has been making more of an effort to spend time interacting with Phoenix. But sadly, that doesn't appear to be the case with London yet. Maybe Paris is still uncomfortable or unsure of how to take care of her newborn daughter, just like she was with her son. But she recently tried to backtrack what she had previously said when Phoenix was a newborn. And what she claimed was honestly ridiculous. After the episode aired that showed Paris changing her first diaper when her son was a month old, she received a ton of backlash. A lot of people couldn't believe how out of touch she was and how the nanny was pretty much handling all of Phoenix's baby basic care. Despite the fact that Paris has mentioned multiple times that she's proud of how raw and authentic her show is, she's now saying that she was only joking in that scene. Last month, she shared a TikTok with a very lengthy caption. Paris wrote that she's always been fully involved in her children's lives and that she had first changed Phoenix's diaper the night he came home. But if that were true, why didn't she tell Nikki and the nanny that she was joking about never having changed his diaper? Judging by how nervous she looked and how many times she needed help, it really seemed like she was completely honest about not knowing what to do. But after she was criticized for her lack of attachment, and involvement, all of a sudden her story changed. It's also kind of weird that Paris is determined to convince everyone that she was joking about the diaper scene. But when it comes to her revelation about only setting aside an hour each day to visit Phoenix in his nursery, she's been totally silent. Maybe the negative feedback that Paris has been getting will motivate her to try to spend more quality time with her children. Even if it's easier for her to bond and interact with Phoenix now that he's a little older, it's not fair for London to keep being left out. Anyway, now that we've gotten into the possible reasons why Paris has been ignoring her baby girl, I want to know what you guys think. Why do you think Paris and Carter have been going on trips with Phoenix, but not London? Do you believe Paris's claim that she was only joking about not changing her son's diaper until he was a month old? Let me know in the comments below.